Yesterday, Apple released the fourth major update to iOS 12, iOS 12.4, and with it comes a new feature that allows users to directly transfer data from an old iPhone to a new iPhone wirelessly. And so in this video, we're gonna go over how to use this new data migration feature. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. The most important thing to note here before starting is that both iPhones need to be running the new version of iOS, iOS 12.4. It will not work on beta profiles or anything like that. It must be stock iOS 12.4, which I have running on both of these iPhone 8s. With that said, the first thing that you'll need to do is get the quick start option to appear on your current iPhone by placing it next to your new iPhone and waiting for the prompt to appear. After you click continue, you'll see an animation pop up and you'll need to scan this animation that's on your new iPhone using your old iPhone's camera. You'll then be prompted to enter your current iPhone's passcode on your new iPhone. Next, you'll be prompted to set up either face or touch ID. After everything is all set, you'll finally see the new data migration screen with two options. You can either transfer data from your current iPhone to your new phone wirelessly or restore your data through an iCloud backup. What makes this new migration feature so great is that if you ran out of room on your iCloud account or you didn't get an up to the minute iCloud backup in, you can actually still carbon copy your iPhone via this new migration feature. One quick side note, you can transfer data wirelessly or you can have a wired connection by using the lightning to USB 3 camera adapter and a lightning cable if you wish. Finally, select the transfer from iPhone option and then go ahead and finish up some of the remaining settings like Siri, Apple Pay, etc. Once you've completed that setup process, you'll be given an estimated time remaining, which will obviously vary depending on how much data you're transferring. For me, this five minute wait time was pretty accurate. And once a transfer was complete, my iPhone automatically restarted and everything was there and ready to go with the exception of a few applications that still needed to be installed. All of my messages, photos, settings, etc., are all exactly the same on my new iPhone as it was on my old iPhone. So let us know your thoughts on this new data migration feature in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.